as autumn gracefully gives way to winter, I find myself settling into a new van, a larger van, under the harvest moon, and then the wolf moon, and then deep, deep into midwinter as the cold sets in and begins to bite. I snuggle in the back like it's no big deal along with the other van lifers in the little community we have here. The first frost bites hard as midwinter approaches, but who would swap the starry, crisp mornings of the solstice for any other time of year? Absolutely stunning. And work continues. Just saving money every week. Of course, living in a van, no bills, just food. That's it, everything else gets saved. So, can't fault it. And it's regular work, lots of hours, keeps me busy, keeps me tired, keeps me hungry. And I sleep well. Yeah, get your grim moments, but every job has that. But what about the van? Yes, it died the second day I had it. Now, why would that be? I lose sleep considering. And then it occurs to me. <sighs> I was an idiot. Let's look on the bright side. I'm on the bus route and look at the great views I get from the bus. Lovely. And I can go into various towns in Oxfordshire, pick up supplies and parts that I need for what I think might be wrong with van. Oh, yeah, yes. Get a nice bit of nosh to treat myself when I do these little errands and enjoy the social life nearby at the Royal Legion, why not? And then on the sunnier days just start tackling the various issues as shown on the OBD. In this case the rear brake lamp needed replacing and there's something wrong with the DPF. Let's see if I can undo this igniter with a 22 mil. No, it's seized. Oh well, in the meantime I can put some insulation up all you have to do is spray carpet glue on the dull side of it, stick it up, job done, and then work on the doors and other panels that are, yeah, now I've got a scaffold bar, I can get some leverage on that 22 now. Yes. There's your problem, right there. 
completely sorted out. That's the inside of the DPF. And I'm on the Great Western Railway train route that Isambard Kingdom Brunel built so I can visit interesting places like Swindon. Um, hang on, Swindon. Oh god, that's awful. <laughs> Just pop by my postal address to grab some presents for myself, which I shall unveil later. No spoilers. Two in the afternoon. Oh, I'm enjoying this week and a half off work. Oh, and it's paid leave too. Oh. Obviously, one of the first things you do is replace this old cigar lighter socket with a modern phone charging, quick charger. Oh, there are people on their eighth booster now, is it? Oh, mad. Anyway, work resumes in the new year. Good to be back. Oh, 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 loads of silly little problems to solve. Including another invasive species that is ruined my van life yes the second one in two months <sighs> this one might be a little easier to get rid of than uh, the, the type that sold me the van yeah look at the damage it's caused nibbling away there I've got a rat in there haven't I Oh, as the look, he's after my pasta and rice. <laughs> Can you hear that? There's a rat clambering round in the back of my van. <sighs> oh no. The bastard's eaten through. Look at that, he's eaten through all the wires to the rear lamp cluster. Oh, just got that working as well. Maybe I can give him some nuts from my British MOD rations. I'm going to leave him a little trail of nuts there that lead back into the outdoors. Leave that door ajar while I go out. Right, you little bugger. Some peanut butter in peanut butter jelly, a bust. <laughs> now we wait. Someone 
Everyone's been busy. bus doesn't go by where I'm parked on the weekends anymore. 